Okay, guys. This is the cool other fix. Today we are setting up a trying to fix up a fall that overheated on the way. In my previous video, I was trying to address the problem temporarily on a Ford Mondeo 98 model V6 Duratec engine. I did made mention that if it is Toyota that experienced such kind of a problem, you're going to be replacing the top cylinder head gasket that's uh, on the good luck side. And on the bad luck side, if you overclock, then you should be thinking about replacing the engine. So it wasn't a fairy tale, it is realistic. And this is an example of it. This is 2006 model RAV4 Toyota all wheel drive. And the issue that actually brought this into place is actually a leak in a radiator. So here, we're actually losing out everything and we're putting back the piece one after the other in the gasket. But like I said in the previous video, that when you're trying to address this kind of a problem, you should try to address what caused the problem in the first place so you don't have to repeat again when you uh, are done. So the process is, is what you're seeing here, it's good, you just uh, lubricate the top cylinder head gasket with our uh, engine oil so it can be it can be easily to a quick release when you want to get it back on track. So I couldn't be able to cover the entire process because it's, it's way too long. Well, this is just the whole thing. So I did mention that if it's Toyota that uh, encounter that kind of uh, overheat issue that the Ford encounter, it's gonna be a different case. So here, we've replaced it. I'm gonna be taking it to show you the other gasket that spawned. We have some other things that is littering around here. Now, most of the times which I've seen Toyota top cylinder head gasket blown away, there used to be some sort of issues, one or two, that used to cause this. One is that their temperature sensors are very unresponsive. Sometimes it could be a mechanic that actually pulled the plug out so you didn't see it uh, displaying on your cluster gauge that is actually overheating, even aside the fact that the radiator is leaking. But aside that, pretty much that is what I've seen in Camry in a matrix in a corolla so i think it's something that Toyota need to have to find a you know find a good measure to actually fix those things so it doesn't uh, create more problems i mean for some other customers their temperature sensor their coolant ect should be very good and the ect i'm talking about is located right here so you have to be very smart to report accurately how the system is performing prior to the heat in the engine so the person who is driving it should be able to know exactly what he's pricing if suppose he didn't uh, try to stop the car when he started seeing the temperature rising above the operating temperature which is uh, 90 degrees so I'm gonna be showing you guys more other things here the only further quick tip which I'm going to be telling you guys is if you're doing this, don't come here if you don't understand what you're doing. If you haven't been here before, if you haven't been taught on the processes that are involved, just kindly uh, get it to a mechanic to get it done and uh, pay him better to get the job done. That's all the advice I'm going to give you. But if you are a DIY who knows pretty much you have been following up with Toyota, then it's good for you. Okay, now let me take you to the other side. Now this is the gasket here. If you look pretty well, much well, 
you're gonna be seeing some bonds on the middle which is discolorated so pretty much that's still the same thing that you are gonna be seeing on any car that bought the top cylinder head gasket on this very engine here it's not that the car is not starting because most times when it bond top cylinder head gasket if it is too bad the car is not gonna start because it will lose a lot of compression and where it loses those compression is from one cylinder to another so if you look at it from the back here you're gonna see pretty much that it look at it so black so when it loses its compression within those area there you might misdiagnose it if you haven't been someone who have a vast experience on overheating issue you could be actually thinking that you have some other issues related to car not starting or whatsoever but one of the tall tale uh, symptoms is when you start up the engine if you left the coolant uh, this thing open the coolant uh, cover open you're gonna see what I throw out there meanwhile the customer actually said that while they were driving the car they were perceiving some smoke but actually that isn't smoke it's actually it's steam that's coming up due to uh, the lack of coolant inside the engine when it leaked out of the radiator so in solving this problem it's not gonna be just replacing this uh, top cylinder head gasket but also to address the the main reason why it started in the first place as much as addressing the ECT that is forcefully reporting which they didn't know that the car is actually overheating and getting to bond the stop cylinder head gasket so if you don't address those two issues then you're pretty much gonna be coming back to the same thing again you're not doing a good to that customer because it don't help the person so here we have the first point here and the second point is here now before this very moment here i wouldn't be able to establish if the previous mechanics who work on it and i pull out the socket which is here if you pull it out or maybe the ect is bad though during my diagnostics i didn't see any ect failure there on my diagnosis so how could that be is it that it actually failed but they refused to respond uh, respond because uh, on my own diagnosis it have two wire right here it has a voltage reference that's gonna be coming from one about five four point four point eight or four point five to five volts reference volt that's coming from the ECU then the other one is gonna be the ground so here I wouldn't be able to know which one is the ground here but I have seen that a lot of times and I've tested that so you suppose I have my multimeter here can be able to show you but that is not the topic but I'm trying to say if suppose this is not plugged in right there you should be able to show me a trouble code why I scanned the car but it didn't show me any trouble code so what really happened and if it is plugged and if it is not bad you should also throw a trouble code so that's some what uh, some sort of uh, thing which I found very very uninteresting and unusual about most uh, Toyota cars because they are not actively respond uh, re uh, reporting the sensors you suppose any of the sensors fail inside the system and you might not uh, see any problem with that but I see a whole lot of problem with that why because if the system fails to report accurately however the engine performance is going you are risking the customer chance to save the car so that's not a good thing and that is why I am still I still uh, I'm still the VW BMW guy I still don't really really fancy Twitter and it doesn't really make me I don't think I I really give anything about that so for most of you guys who are still stuck with Toyota you have to understand this you have to be very conscious I've seen this a lot of times on Camry on uh, metrics don't let it overclock you should always constantly be checking this uh, coolant uh, coolant switch because if it fails it's gonna be a very huge mess now if uh, you're done and you are getting this thing back don't over talk it use the right uh, tool to actually do this because if you don't you might be ruining a lot of things there and uh, it's not good remember you're dealing with aluminum and iron you're using the iron the metal to boot the aluminum top cylinder head into place so if you forget every other thing which I've said in this video 
in this content don't forget two things one is why the overheat comes on in the first place and second thing addressing it so that you can give the customer a very good breathing space so the problem doesn't reoccur after you finish this whole service because most times replacing top cylinder head gasket might not be i mean the top cylinder head gasket is not expensive but it's a whole lot of expensive process trying to re replace it because we're talking about like a five hours job here five hour five to six hours job here so it is not a it is not an easy thing all right so whatever you're gonna be doing at this very moment you should do it very very well both the replacing uh, the top cylinder high gasket both the solving the radiator uh, leakage if suppose you find that your radiator is not leaking apart from that there are videos which I posted symptoms why car overheat you should watch it and see some of the Things which I'm also certain I'm gonna be posting the link below this video so you should try as much as possible to avoid this problem occurrence because if you do our mechanic are gonna be your friend because you're gonna be funding their pocket all right so the best way like I said that part I've seen it is it's not a it's not a new thing it's it is always it's more like it's constantly failing and when it fails sometimes it doesn't even show when you scan it and that's the problem so guys i hope you like this video and these are some of the parts we removed so gotta catch you guys later and uh I hope you find this very helpful to addressing or being sensitive to anything concerning uh, overheating with your Toyota or any Asia model. Bye for now.